what does it take for us human beings collectively, especially in America, to get the point that we have been deceived by people in power? That's a question. What does it take for us collectively to realize that we have been fooled, we have been deceived by people who are in high places that we never see, who hide behind closed doors and we are just slaves modern day and the killing part is that the people who have a little bit more than the poor person don't think that they're included in that slavery the middle class and the upper middle class and even people who make a lot more than that don't realize that they are all a part of the same agenda, same scheme, the same plan that was set in place many, many years before any of us was ever born. And they've been working it on us the whole time. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to reason, and I know that's difficult for some of us, actually many of us to listen to reason because as long as many of us have been in this matrix as it were we have benefited some of us not myself but there are people who work for the systems that are in place who have nice homes can go on nice vacations they have nice vehicles, they've got a little money in the bank, they have some investments. They think that they are on top of the world, have very little need of anything for the most part. But really, they're not happy. Materialism gets you absolutely nowhere that's meaningful. It buys things buys certain privileges oftentimes it buys material things but is that what life is all about materialism not at all are you inwardly happy is your family intact really is your family really together? You'll realize as you age, many of us, that you have to really start counting up the cost and seeing what life is really about. Because once all of us are gone from this plane that we exist on right now, Whatever material that you had goes to someone else. So that was short-lived, wasn't it? So what are you saying, brother teacher? I'm saying this. We've all been in a matrix. Like that movie, The Matrix. There was a world that someone behind you, behind us, wanted us to believe was the reality but there was another script there was another reality being hid from us that's what it's all about there's a grand plan there's a grand scheme of things there's an agenda there's a game being played and we are the pieces on the board 
if you care to hear more on this subject of the matrix that we're all in, please weigh in. I'm not going to go any further because I've been under the microscope for a while and I'm just getting started. I am. Above all things that I've ever done in my life, military, martial arts, nursing, family, so forth, I'm a realist and I'm an activist for humanity. I'm just one of many spread across the universe, but I am. People don't like what I have to say, so they try to censor me. I'm not the only one, but I'm speaking about me right now. So, again, if you would like to hear more on this particular subject, this topic, I'll save it and not use it on this particular platform, and I will refer you to another platform. But right now, what I need you to do is in the comment section below, let me know that you're willing to go a little bit further down the rabbit hole and see how we have all been fooled by the people who say that they care about us. Not us blacks alone, but us Americans and us, we in the world. Do you really want to know? Do you care to take that journey with me? Please comment below and say, Brother Teacher, I'm interested in hearing what you have to say. Brother Teacher, teach us. And I'm not the greatest scholar in the world, but I do know enough. I'm sorry. I love you guys and I hope that you have ascertained that over the time that I have been on this platform, whoever you are, race, color, creed, age, sexual preference, whoever you are, I love you. And if I didn't, I wouldn't waste my time trying to disseminate any information that would help liberate or free all of us. But please understand, overstand this. Freedom has never been free. It comes at a cost. See you next time.